All right, guys, I think uh, we can get started. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, Manushri can be a bit louder. So we'll try to finish up till question number 150 today. There's one particular question which I'm trying to find a better way for you guys. Right? You guys can always refer to the solutions as well. But my way of teaching trigonometry is little different because I have practiced it uh, in a different way. As I have already mentioned to you that substituting values will solve most of the problems here, but not all. Okay, right. So as far as your uh, cos and sine is concerned, what we spoke was that 90 and 0 is going to be your friend. And whenever you find tan, and where there is variable like x, y, z, and all that stuff, tan, x, tan, y, you can get started with putting 45. Right? So consider the following statement sine square 1 degree plus cos square 1 degree is equal to 1. Is it correct? It's an identity, isn't it? Yes, sir. Sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. It's an identity. Yes, that's correct. Right? Now, the second statement over here, what do you think? It's correct or wrong? Cos square 57. Right? Secant square and cosecant square. Okay? Can we write it like that? Can we write it like that? Minus yes, sir. Left hand side. I'm just working with left hand side. Okay, LHS. Why? Because sine plus cos are complementary, tan and cot are complementary, and secant and cosecant are complementary. Right? Now, do we have an identity? 1 plus square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. Right? Isn't it? Do we have an identity? Did I write it correctly? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. This is your left hand side. It will fetch us cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. Right? I'm just trying to take this one on this side. Isn't it? So this value LHS is 1. Now let's look at RHS. RHS means right hand side. Right hand side to the equal to sign. So we have cosecant square theta 37, right? Minus tan square 53 degrees, right? Okay. So in that case, can we write cosecant square 37 degree minus cot square 90 minus 53? Can we write something like that? Same thing we have done over here. Isn't it? This one will change into cosecant square 37 minus cot square 37 degrees. Do we have another identity over here? Write the same identity over here. Isn't it? So this thing. Yes, can sir. Be, this thing is again 1. Right? LHS and RHS are both equal. Right? So if both of it are equal, what do we say? C is the correct answer. Right? In this entire stuff, what we are doing? We are just using an identity 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. That's the only identity we are leveraging over here. Anybody, any doubt, please ask. Please feel free and ask. Anybody who wants to ask from here to here, how have we written? How have we written this thing as 1? How have we changed this thing to this thing and this thing over here? Is it clear to all of you, all 24 of you, including me? Yes, sir. 
Thank you so much. Most of the questions are easy only. Yeah. Please think about this question. It says there is only one value of X in the first quadrant. First quadrant means 0 to 90 degree. Okay. This is the first quadrant. Right. There's only one value. There's only one value which satisfies this given equation over here. Sin x plus cos x is equal to 2. Can we have something like sin x plus cos x is equal to 2? Can we have? Even if you put sin 90, this will become 1. No, sir. Become 0. Yeah, absolutely not. If you put 90, if you put 0, this will become 0 and this will become 1. Okay, right. So there is no possible values for 2. 2 is not possible. We know that the value of sine and cos lies between minus 1 to 1. Okay, right. And since both are complementary, right. And also the thing is that if 1 is increasing from 0 to 90, from 0 to 90, how exactly it works out? One second. Yeah, from 0 to 90, okay. This sign is increasing function. Yes, yes. One moment, guys. So sign is increasing and from 0 to 90, cos is decreasing. In order to have 2, we need to have both of it as 1. And that is not possible. If 1 is increasing, another 1 will decrease. Right? Okay. So over here, 2 is not possible. Right? So the first one is not correct. There is only one value of x in the first quadrant that satisfies sin x minus cos x is equal to 0. Anybody other than Hari Priya? Nandika, what do you think? Do we have a value in the first quadrant 0 to 90 which satisfies this particular equation sin x minus cos x is equal to 0? Is it possible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Absolutely. Possible. Okay. We can simply write it as sin x is equal to cos x. And we know sin x and cos x are equal to when x is equal to 45 degrees. And this is the only value wherein sin x and cos x are equal in the very first quadrant. Right. So we will go ahead with p as the answer 27 p as the answer. Okay. So far, so good. All right. Yep, guys. What do you guys think about it? Think, think. If you look closely, the premises, the information that has been given to us is sin x, sin theta, cos theta is equal to root 3 by 4. We know there is one particular value wherein sin theta is equal to root 3 by 2. Okay, it is as sin 60 and cos 60 is 1 by 2. So can we substitute? So you will have to be watchful about this particular stuff. Okay. If you put sir, option B. Yeah. Okay. If we if we are vigilant, then we don't have to solve it in a trigonometric way. So now we know that theta is equal to sixty. So we can simply sine square sixty plus cos square sixty. Right? Sine square sine sixty is root three by two raised to the power four. Write it four times. If you do not want to write that also, right? Over here, we will get 9 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 16. Over here, we will get 1, and the base remains the same, right? So 10 by 16, which is 5 by 8, B, the correct answer over here, guys. So far, so good. So far, so good. Shall we move to the next one? Yes, sir. Okay. Only Haripta is applying. About others. Yeah, if the angle theta is in the first quadrant and tan theta is 3, what is the value of sine theta plus cos theta? Okay, they are saying tan theta. What is tan theta, guys? Okay, tan theta is opposite by adjacent, right? Isn't it? Yes, so sir. It will become, hypotenuse will become 10, isn't it? Now they have asked you. What is the value of sine theta plus cos theta? Sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse. What is cos theta? Roshan. 
what is cos theta? Roshan. Roshan, are you there? Yes, Roshan. You switched on your mic. What is cos theta? Yes. Cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse, which means 1 divided by root 10, which means 4 by root 10. That itself is your answer, guys. See, the questions you guys are being asked. And out of 100 questions in maths, even if you are able to do 45 correctly, you are good to go. Let's say you are getting 100 marks there in GK and English, only 45 marks you will be through for IMA. Okay, AFA will be dicey, right? OTA will be dicey. INA, if you are an engineer, you will also get it. INA cutoff will be 120, 115, something like that only, less than that only. Right? So this is what the importance of mathematics is. Right? Even if you do not qualify for OTA, many a times people don't qualify for OTA. I'm the case. But you will qualify for IMA. You will qualify for INA and AFA. Right? Just because you have scored very good marks in maths. So you have to be vigilant about these kind of questions. Easy bits, low hanging fruits. Yeah. Theta lies between 0 to 90. Then all trigonometric ratios can be obtained. What is trigonometric ratios? What are trigonometric ratios? Sine theta, cos theta. Cos theta. Yes. Cosecant theta, secant theta. Cot theta, these are all trigonometric ratios, right? This is what we mean by trigonometric ratios, guys. Okay. Anybody other than Hari Priya and Kishore, can anyone switch on your mic and tell me if there is one? Okay. What will happen? Then all trigonometric ratios can be found when what? Only sine theta is given, only cos theta is given, only tan theta is given, or any of the six ratios is given. Any of the six ratios is given. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Right. Because let us say, I say something like, something like, you know, 5, 12, 13. Okay. It has been given to you. Okay. 13 is not given to us. Okay. Let's say 13 is given to us. Okay. Right. They have given to us sine theta is equal to, this is the angle. Okay. Opposite by hypotenuse. Okay. So by Pythagoras theorem, we can calculate this as 5, isn't it? 169 minus 144 root under 25. That is 5. Right. Then you can find out cos theta, which is adjacent by opposite. Right. Then we can find tan theta, which is what? Opposite by adjacent. Then it's all, all others are the reciprocal. So secant theta is just the reciprocal of this. That is 13 to all. Secant theta is reciprocal of this, that is 13 by 5. And cot theta is just the reciprocal of this, tan theta, which is 5 by 12. Clear, guys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. These are the basic foundations for you guys. Yeah. Take a moment. Take a moment of your time. Okay. And tell me. We could see tan, right? What did I tell you? If you could see tan, what we have to do? Okay. You can see sine as well, but since we could see tan, we will work with 45. Can we assume A is equal to 45 degrees? Do we have any harm in that? We don't have no okay. harm in that. Sine A, cos A, tan A plus cos tan 45 and cot 45 is 1. It's in multiplication, so we don't have to worry. Sin A is 1 by root 2. Cos A is again 1 by root 2. Plus cos A is 1 by root 2. Sin A is also 1 by root 2. Right? So this is what? Half? This is also another half? 1 by 2 into 1 by 2? 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2? Which is 1? Right. Okay. Now, if you put, if you put cot, cot value itself will be 1. 
plus something. So this is not the right answer. Cot itself will be one plus something, which is also not will be the right one. Tan plus something, which is also not going to be the right one. We have a straight away identity over here, sine square A plus cos square A, which is equal to one. How many times we have usage of this particular identity, guys? Just take a note. Clear? Shall we move? Yes, okay. sir. Okay. How about this one? Do we have any problem in choosing any value? Can we choose theta is equal to 90 degree? First answer is. Can we choose? No, absolutely no, because yeah, sorry, sign. Can we choose zero? Yeah, we can choose 90. We can't choose zero because sign zero over here will become zero and we do not want to have zero in the denominator because it yields us infinity or undefined. Right? But can we choose theta is equal to 90 degree? The answer is yes. So sign 90 divided by 1 plus cos 90 plus 1 plus cos 90 divided by sine 90. Sine 90 is 1, 1 plus cos 90 is 0, plus, you need to switch on your mic and speak up, guys. Cos 90 is 0, and this is 1. This will get us 2. Right? Where can we... Yes, find? sir. Yes. How can we find the value 2? Let's check the first option. The first option says twice of cosecant theta, which means 2 by sine theta. Okay. 2 by sine 90. Sine 90 is 1, which itself is 2. If you check for any other options, it is, it won't give us 2. So we will go ahead with 1 as your answer. Yes, this will, sir. This will again be undefined. This will fetch us 1. Right. What is 1 plus tan square theta? Secant square theta, sir. Secant square theta. Yep. So is this an identity? We have to keep 1 over here. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. It's just an identity. Right. Yes, sir. Right. How about others? Other than Kishore, Haripriya, Savanan and stuff. Agilan, are you getting it? Leela, Shivakumar. Yes, sir. Is it getting, are you getting it? Yes, sir. All right. How about this one, guys? What do you think? How should we go ahead with this one? Take a moment, think about it. What do you think? How can we go ahead with this one? Shall we square it? Something like that. What shall we do? We can keep cos A one side and bring the square to the other side. Okay, we'll do that. You want to say cos A into 1 plus cos A is equal to 1. We have taken this common. Right? So cos A will be equal to 1 minus cos square A. And that is an identity. Yes. We won't go here. Not required. We only go from here to, we can write cos A is equal to 1 minus cos square A. Right? And we know sin square A plus cos square A is equal to 1. Right? So sine square A is equal to 1 minus cos square A. From here, we can substitute cos A is equal to sine square A. This is what we have. Right? Now they have asked us to find out 2 into sine square A plus sine raised to the power 4a. Isn't it? So 2 into sine square a, this is sine square a, this is sine square a. Can we instead place cos a? Yes, sir. Is sine square a, whole square, something like that. So 2 into cos a plus cos square a. Can we write something like that? Can we write something like that? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So now we already know 
see these things will come with lots of practice okay right if you want to substitute some value over here then it will get dicey right can we think of a value can we think of a value right it gets dicey right yes sir okay cos 16 is root 3 by 2 and root 3 by 2 whole square is 3 by 4 it's not working out right so you'll have yeah, to be we can straightly replace that given by Darnell. Sorry? So we can directly replace that cos A plus cos square A by 1. We can get the final answer directly. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying from here it's already known that this particular value is given as 1 from here. So we can simply put as 1 and we can get 2 as the answer. Yes. But I'm just asking, I have been teaching you guys to put in values. So I'm just asking, can you guys think of a value for A which satisfies this given equation over here? It's hard to think one. As I've already mentioned to you, putting values will solve your problem 70% of the time. This is in that 30% of these cases. All right. Yeah. You, you saw tan. What will you put? Will you solve this? Solving this no. would be a criminal offense. Tan yes, means? Yes, sir. 45. This will 45. This means 1. This one's gone. Okay. This one will also go. What we are left over here is 1 plus tan A. 1 plus 1, 2 square is 4. And over here also 2 square is 4. That means we need to get 8. How can we get 8? Okay. C looks to be a good answer because there is 2 into it. Right. So we are just evaluating C. Secant 45. Secant 45 is how much? Root 2. Secant square. That means root 2 square. For secant 45 is again root 2. Is it 2 into 2 into 2? Is it getting you 8? Right. I smart, smartly, I picked up C to start with because I saw over here it is 2. So that is why the probability of getting an answer over here is more as compared to other places. Right. So we will take C as the answer over here. Clear? Yes. Yes, sir. I have a doubt. Yes, Leela. So, is there any possibility, like rather than going with options and finding the answers, is there any possibility that we can solve the question and find the answer? Yep, that's there in your solution. What if two options says two uh, as two in it and uh, what shall we or all the options as to in it in that case? There won't be that. Right. There won't be that case. Yes, right. sir. Yes. Why? Why there won't be that case? Because when we are saying tan A, tan X, tan B, or any, any other trigonometric ratio, this A, X, B, all this should satisfy on every single value. Every single value. Right. Only when they concretely give you tan 60, tan 30, then we can't put any values. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. So there won't be any values which will give you 8 as the answer. Right. Yes. If you want to check, you can check any other value as well. The only problem is that if you do it the normal conventional way, it will consume hell of our time and you will start to hate trigonometry. We don't want to do that. Okay, we are not in 10 standard proving LHS is equal to RHS. All we want to 
tick the find out the right answer, tick it, get the marks, and move on because in two hours of paper, we have 100 questions to see. Right? But yes. as far as the method is concerned, that is there given in your books, in your as elaborately as you could find. Right? You see, maybe uh, one plus times per A, you can solve it. You can you can form it into an identity, right? One plus pot square X. That is also you can form it into an identity. Okay, not that's not an identity. This is also not an identity. Okay. Right? So you will have to solve it. You have to do one square plus tan square A uh, plus two tan A, then all that stuff. Okay, eventually you will get it. It's not that you won't get it, but it's just that. It's so lengthy that I don't want to do it. Right? And I do not suggest you guys to do it either. Unless otherwise absolutely necessary. That we will see. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Can you think of some values, guys? Spend 30 seconds thinking of a value which can satisfy this given equation over here. A square is equal to 1 plus 2 sine theta cos theta. Divided by 1 minus 2 sine theta cos theta. Can you guys think of something? Anything? So can we write this 1 uh, is uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta? Yes, absolutely. You can write that and that is the way. One moment. Mm -hmm. If any one of you is into hackathon and stuff, you guys can explore and you guys can, yeah. And you guys can let know Koman sir as well and he will support you. Right? So yes, that is the way, okay. I've been also been telling you while teaching you the concepts as well that all one can be written in terms of the identities, okay. So this is the way over here. I am trying to write one in terms of this particular identity. So far, so good. Is it A plus B whole square? Does it look like sine theta plus cos theta over here, sine theta minus cos theta whole square? Does it look something like that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we can simply remove these two squares from both hand sides to write sine theta minus cos theta, right? There is something called compoundendo and dividendo. Okay. Right. Compoundendo and dividend. Okay. Right. So, what we do in that, we need to find a plus 1 divided by a minus 1. Right. Okay. So, from here, we conclude that. A is this particular value and 1 is this particular value. Now let's just substitute. Okay. Sin theta plus cos theta. Okay. The value of 1 is over here is plus sin theta minus cos theta divided by again A sin theta plus cos theta minus of 1. Okay, I'm just trying to write it. Okay. Plus cos theta. Isn't it? I have skipped a few steps here. Yes, sir. Okay. Over here, if something, how it looks like is that sine theta plus cos theta, that is A, plus sine theta minus cos theta divided by sin theta plus cos theta, that is A, minus of sin theta minus of cos. Right? So, over here, cos gone, cos gone, sin gone, sin gone. 2 sin theta divided by 2 cos theta, which will fetch us tan. Right? So, this was also another problem. Did I answer your question now? Okay. 
that there are a few of the problems which cannot be solved by putting in values, even though there is theta, there is variables into it. Maybe yes, you can take some values. Okay, over here in this particular question, let us say, let's just try to explore theta is equal to zero. What happens? A square is equal to one plus two sine zero is zero. That means this whole entire stuff becomes zero divided by one minus two into zero. That means one. Means A square is equal to plus or minus one. Okay. Can we have A, sorry, A is equal to plus or minus one. Can we have A is equal to one? Is it possible? A is equal to one. The denominator becomes zero and we don't want that. Right. Let's see what happens at theta is equal to 90. Right. A square is equal to one plus again. Cos 90 will become zero. That means the whole expression will become zero. So it will again give us one. Right. So A is equal to plus or minus one. Since we cannot have A is equal to one. This is also not possible, right? Can we have A is equal to minus one? If we put A is equal to minus one, we get minus one plus one divided by minus one minus one, which is again going to give you zero. Okay, that's there in the answer, but you see only half of the, there's like two possibilities of A, plus one and minus one. From plus one, we are not getting, we are only getting undefined. And from minus one, we are getting zero, right? That is why we not go ahead with this particular method of substituting values over here. Because the whole point of theta is that it should satisfy for all the values. It should not come undefined or undefined over here, isn't it? The denominator can't be zero, isn't it? A minus one, cannot be zero at any cost, all right. How about this one? Take a moment, take a moment. They have asked, they have given us sine theta and they want us to find out what is the value of cos theta. Can we take some values? Let's say x is equal to three and y is equal to one. So how much is it sine theta? Three square means Nine plus one over here, x square plus one, eight by ten. Sine theta is eight by ten. What is sine theta? Opposite by hypotenuse. I have chosen these two values smartly, right? Okay. Now tell me, what is this base? Is it six? Pythagoras. Pythagoras, guys. Ten square minus eight square root under. 36 is 6, right? Now, yes, can sir. you tell me what is cos theta? Is it 6 by 10? Yes, sir. So, denominator, we are going to have x square plus y square for sure? Yes, sir. Does x minus y over here, option C, 3 minus 1 by 10, it's 2 by 10. Is C the correct answer? No. Let's check for D, X, Y. No, no, sir. Right. 3 minus 1. It's giving. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. D can give us. How about B? 2 into X and Y divided two by. 2 can also give. Yes. Absolutely. So now we are clear that these two are not the answers. Isn't it? Isn't it, guys? Yes, sir. Can we choose some another value? Can we choose some another value? 5, 12, 13, something like that? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Right. So if you choose something like that, okay. So sine theta is what? Opposite by hypotenuse. Okay, right. So opposite, in order to find out up, uh, this Apart news over here, in the denominator, what we'll be having? Denominator will be having 5 square plus 12 square, right? Yes. 
this is what we'll be having. This is like 25 plus 144, 69 we are having. How do we get 5? How do we get in the numerator? How do we get 5? In the previous one, we chose x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1, right? Let's not go this way. Let's just simply assume another value. Simply assume another value, okay? Let's just choose a different value. X is equal to maybe a smaller values. The only problem is that then the root will, the hypotenuse will come under root and I do not want to get into roots, okay? That's the whole problem. So let's say I chose x is equal to maybe 5, okay, right? And y is equal to how much? 25, 16, 25, right? If that is the case, then we have x square is 36 minus, okay, we can't avoid the root now, right? This is the value of x square minus y square and x square plus y square is 40. Now we have over here sine 30 is opposite by hypotenuse. So far so good. So far so good guys. So now this particular value is okay and this is 72 into 8 root under, right, which will give us 9 into 8 into 8, this 9 is 3 and this 8 is here. So this base is 24, right, so what is the value of cos? Cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. Down below we know that is correct, okay, right. So if we want to check option D, the numerator part of it, x y into x minus y, okay. X y x is this much. X minus y is how much? Twelve into four. It is getting us forty-eight. How much do we want? How much do we want? Twenty-four. 20 if we check for option B, 2 into x, y, how much is the x? We assume 6 and 2. 6 and 2. How much we are getting? 24. So, we will conclude that D is not the right answer. B is the right answer. <clears throat> Over here, I wanted to dole out another learning. Whenever you are faced most of the time, most of the time, what will happen just by putting one values alone, 80 to 90 percent of the time will fetch you the answer easily. But still, if you bump across a cases like this, you can simply take another case. In this case, what did I do? X and Y, initially I chose 3 and 1. And then next I chose 6 and 2, which is nothing but the multiple of this particular number. Okay. Had this expression been correct, it should have satisfied for this value also. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes or no? But what we found out that this yes, sir. Yes, sir. option is not satisfying this. Trust me, it's not that tough. It's much more easier than getting into, you know, the algebraic equations of x square, y square, minus 2xy. It will blow your mind, I tell you, honestly. Don't do that. In whole of my teaching, I'm, I'm going to avoid that. As much as I can. There will be certain cases wherein we cannot avoid it. We can't help it. Please think of this. I want somebody other than Haripriya, Kishore and other guys, those who have been speaking to answer this particular question. Okay. Anybody? Anybody? What do you guys think about the one? The value of sine theta and cos theta is always greater than one. No, sir. 
no always none always these and all called extremities in logic even if you guys have to do inky pinky ponky please don't choose extremities most of the time these are wrong not all okay so the value of sin theta and cos theta how does that look like okay if it has to be always then let's check okay i take 45 theta is equal to 45 just for example we know it's not correct okay right so it is greater than 1 right but how about you see the limit is equal to 0 and 90 at sine 0 it is 0 it is 1 it is not always greater than 1 had they given you greater or equal to then it could have been the right way okay at 90 degrees sine 90 is 1 is 0 so the what is the answer 1 is it greater than 1 is 1 greater than 1 is 1 greater than no, 1 sir. no it's not right this is not the right how about tan yes in this case it is tan 30 1 by root 3 plus cot 30 is root 3 root 3 is 1.732 plus something is it greater than 1 yes tan 60 root 3 cot 60 1 by root 3 is it greater than 1 yes tan 45 1 cot 45 1 is it greater than 1 yes we have three different cases that we have found that it is greater than 1 so the second one is the correct one we will go ahead with b as the answer to this particular question of i clear Yes, sir. How about uh, Vivek Ram C. Manushri? Yes, sir. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay, Bharat. So instead of uh, putting the intermediate values, we can check for the 0 and uh, 90 degrees itself, so, sir. Sorry? Yeah, Manushri, a little bit louder. Intermediate values? Uh, we can uh, check the check for the extreme values now, so zero and ninety degrees. Yes, yes. We have to be very careful over here. They have given the limit as zero to ninety degrees. Okay, both included zero and ninety, both included. So we can check on these two as well. Right? Had they given us something like this, then we could not have taken as zero or ninety to work out with the whole trigonometry will be solved by putting value 70 percent of it okay if you will bother you you can respect it maybe in the examination hall the angles a b c d of a quadrilateral what is a quadrilateral quad means four okay quadrilateral is a polygon which has got four sides. It has got four angles, A, B, C, and D. They are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 5. Bharat, you tell me what is the angle? What are the angles of quadrilateral? What is the sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral, Bharat? Bharat, my question is sum of all angles of a quadrilateral. Yes, sir. How much is this? Please, by now you could have Google search, man, or chat GPT. Yes, sir. How much? Sum of all the degrees. angles of a quadrilateral. 360, sir. Absolutely, it's 360 degrees. So if it is in the ratio of 5 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1, or 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 5, how much are these angles? Is it like 30, 60, 120, 150? How did we do that? Since they are in the ratio, this sum should look like 360. Isn't it? That means x is equal to 360 by 12, which will fetch us 30. And then first angle is this. Second angle is this. Third angle is this. 
and fourth angle is this right okay. now what is cos of a plus b this is a and this is b what is this particular value yeah okay. lot of this mm. yeah it is as equal as cos 90 let's not be fearful in writing that yeah and cos 90 is zero every one of us knows that then the next question is for secant c minus d plus b how much is this okay no no how, how much do we write in this bracket 30 sir 30 degrees yeah secant 30 we don't always have to think on okay, okay for sake 90 minus something 180 minus something it will change into something this and that and all that stuff no not required not always for secant 30 is reciprocal of sine 30 which is 1 by 2 1 by sine 30 1 divided by 1 by 2 which is nothing but your 2 so far so good okay yeah who will tell me this first one this a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral let's say it's a quadrilateral it doesn't look like that particular angle i know what is the definition of a cyclic quadrilateral sir opposite angles adds up to 180 degrees yes okay the opposite the sum of opposite angles are 180 degrees if you add these two opposite means this is a b and c what is opposite of a b or c it's c okay if you add, is it 180 is it 180 no, no, guys sir. no sir no it's not 180 right so this is not a correct one then we have sine of b minus a then we have cos of d minus c this is sine 30 are they equal no sir no sir not equal sir no they are also not equal right so we will take d neither one not two right Yes, Shall we now move to the next one? Yes, sir. Yeah. How will you solve this? Can we think of a value? Can we think of a value, guys? We know sine 60 is root 3 by 2 and cos 60 is 1 by 2. It will only give like this, which is not equal to root 3. We cannot think of a simple values like 0, 30, 60 and all that stuff. Right. So in this question, we'll have to go by the process. process Sir, we can square on both sides and we can take. Yes, we can do that. Absolutely, we can do that. Right. So tan theta is your sine theta by cos theta. And cot theta is cos theta divided by sine theta. If you do over here, what do we find? Sine theta cos theta is equal to sine square theta plus cos square theta, right? Which is 1 divided by sine theta cos theta, okay? Now, as my friend says, whenever you see sine plus cos, you can try by squaring it on both hand sides. What happens? sine square theta plus cos square theta from here to here what I, how I have moved identity right 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to 3 this is 1 that means 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to 2 over there it is 1 I will take it this side it will become 1 right this one gone, this one gone, sine theta into cos theta is equal to 1. Now we know this value over here. Can we plug it? Right, guys? So these things will come with practice. Okay. So don't freak out. What is this particular? Sir, we can replace theta by 15 degree and we can. 
Yeah, absolutely, we can do that. That's absolutely correct. Okay. We can, if theta is there, we can replace it by any angle. Okay, it's your choice. If you know what is 85 degree, what is 5 degree, you can do that. No worries. Okay. So my friend is telling theta is equal to 15 degrees. So I'll put that. Fine. Fair enough. So cosecant 75 degree plus 15 degree. Each of this Y looking stuff is your degree. I have already told you. 15 degree minus 15 degree. Cosecant 90 minus secant 0. Right. How much is cosecant 90? 1 divided by sine 90, 1 divided by cos 0, sine 90 is 1, cos 0 is also 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Yeah. What is the correct answer? What is the correct answer, guys? Amar Shakti. Sir. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay, tell me what is another way of solving this problem? So see, can 75 because 90 degree minus T or 75? Yes, we can do that. You can change anything over here. Okay, right? Yes, sir. So, cosecant can 75 plus theta minus I want to write in terms of cosec 90 minus 15 minus theta. Do we have any problem? You want to change cosecant into sec? That is also okay. You can do that. No worries on that. So cosecant 75 plus theta minus cosecant 90 minus 15 plus theta cosecant 75 plus theta minus cosecant 75 plus theta. Is it the same? Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even if you change the cosecant, that will also be the same. This particular question, I'm trying to find a better way for you guys. Okay. Meanwhile, you guys can tell me how to solve this. I do not want to solve the bookish method. Over here, we know one particular thing that in this particular format, A sine theta plus B cos theta, okay, is equal to some value. So the maximum value is root under A square plus B square, which is 25 plus 144, 169, that is 13. So this expression is at the maximum, at its maximum value. Right. Okay. How do we get the maximum value? And it's not necessary that this theta should lie in the first quadrant only. It's not that way. Right. So I will find a better way for you guys. If I'm unable to find the better way for you guys, I will tell you the bookish method. Right. The long form method. Okay. Right. Guys. Sir, can't we use the formula? Which form? Uh, this is formula A cos, uh, cos theta minus B sin theta. A cos theta minus B sin theta. Is equal to root of uh, A square plus B square minus C square. We can substitute uh, values and find it now, sir. So C is telling that the constant square, C square minus C square. Minus C square. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you think should we put in place of C? The 13 squares. 13 square. So 169 will be there. So is it zero? Yes, sir. 25 plus 144 uh, it gives 169. So 169 minus 169 gives zero. No, no. But I'm just trying to understand that how did you introduce this 169 here, this constant? This is what we have to find out, no? By substituting, sir, we, we did not know A square and also B square. 
So we can just substitute the same as uh, we can give constants to each of the variables and find its masses. Okay, the given equation looks like this, right? We can use that. I mean, it's it's almost the same as the identity. So sine square plus cos square is equal to one. So with in, with the identity, we are adding a variable. So a sine square, uh, a sine theta plus uh, b cos theta is equal to c, almost like that. The problem is that we have to find out the variable over here, Ripriya. Right? We don't know the c, right? And you are telling to put this c over here, c square. So from the above equation. So this from above equation, what are we trying to find? Are we trying to find this value? We have to find out the value of 5 cos theta minus 12 sine theta. What is the value of this? That's what we need to find. Sir, sir when a sine theta plus b uh, cos theta, when it is at maximum value, uh, this yeah. formula comes into play, sir. Yeah, this formula, this formula, the maximum value is a square plus b square in positive yes. and the minimum value is minus a square plus b square, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And how are you guys introducing this constant over here to find this? Is it like you guys are assuming that this is the minimum value? No, yes. sir. When yes, sir. A so just querying on the both the side and substitute the value, you will get that equation. Okay. When a sine theta plus b cos theta is equal to root of a square plus b square, then uh, a cos theta minus b sine theta is equal to a square plus b square minus c square, the whole root. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So is it like an algebraic uh, kind of stuff you are telling? Yes, yeah, sir. So yes, when sir. this goes right, this comes into picture like that, sir. Okay, fair enough. Where did you read this one? Did I teach you? I did okay. not teach. I tried it from the identity, sir. The sine square plus cos square identity. Let's try a squaring on both sides, right? Okay. Shall we? Yes, sir. So it's like 25 sine square theta plus 144 cos square theta is equal to 169, right? Now, this will give us uh, 25 sine square theta plus 25 square theta. Please tell me if I'm uh, deviating from these steps. 119 cos square theta is equal to 169, right? Right. I want to see um, this coming. Like, you know, I mean, there are formulas I know. So may I know why are you splitting that 144 cos square theta? So we need not split. I was splitting it so that to get this one as 25. Sir, you are okay. going to get the cos theta value, sir. Then you will get the sine theta value like that you are going to do, sir. Yeah, maybe. Yes. Okay. You Maybe yes, that also we can do. But if there is any yeah. other value method for you, you can tell it to me. Like that identity okay. one. I've never come across that identity wherein there is a C. You please share it with me as well, okay? Yes, sir. 119 cos square theta 169. So 119 cos square theta is equal to 169 minus 25. That means cos square theta is equal to 144 divided by 119. Here the challenge starts. Okay, that's correct. In the denominator, we have 119. Right? So cos theta is equal to 12 divided by root under 119. Right? So if this is theta, if this is 12, this is root under 1. How is it possible, man? Cos square theta is 114 divided by 119. How is it possible? How is it possible? No, sir. I think 2AB we have missed somewhere. Sir, 2AB we have missed it, sir. That is 120 yes. sin theta yes. cos theta. Sir, it wouldn't come in division. I mean, it wouldn't come in division. Yes, sir. It's not multiplication to come at the other side of division, no, sir. Sir, just apply A plus B whole square formula and then substitute sin square, what, 1 minus cos square. 
for cos square 1 minus sin square. Uh, you know, trigonometry is my weak hand buddy. So you got to write it. Anyways, so we are squaring over here on both hand sides. So a square, we get it, we get it. Hold on. Okay. So 2 5 theta. Whenever I get caught in situations like this, the one response of mine is to stay calm. Okay. Because you know you're not going to get Nobel Prize, isn't it? So 169. What did I just do? And we also have 119 cos square theta. Am I right? So far, is it correct? Is it correct so far? Yes, sir. Looks correct to me. If it is incorrect, please tell to me. Now you guys were supposed to tell me. Okay. Plus, so how much is this? 120 sine theta cos theta. Again, we are having this. Again, we are having this. 119 cos square theta. 169. Right? Again, we are having sine theta cos theta and cos square theta. So, squaring on both sides did not help us much. I understand you guys have known this formula. Okay. We can get to the answer. But I want to understand the logic behind that formula. Right? Let's try now. Okay. From Pythagoras theorem, yeah, it is clearly visible that if the one is 13, another one is 5, another one is 12. Right? Yes, sir. What do you want to suggest by using Pythagoras theorem? What should we do with this? No, sir. By identity, this identity is almost similar to Pythagoras theorem. Okay, this identity over here. Right? Yes, sir. So you want to say in place of sine square, we will have another 5. In place of over here, we'll have another 12. And over here, we'll have another stuff. Right? 13. Almost similar to Pythagoras theorem? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Do we have any breakthrough over here from this particular stuff? I mean, this is why I, 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 I try to find out tricks, right? So 119 cos square theta plus 1, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now from this, we need to find something. Okay. You guys can do it on a piece of paper. Okay, you will know it. I know, I know the formulas that you guys are telling me. Okay, but even we, I want to understand the logic behind the formula. Otherwise, I, I, it gets a little hard for me to digest sometimes. Right? So, 120 sine theta cos theta. Okay. From here, we don't think we have any breakthrough as such. Do we have? I can't think have? of any, sir. I don't think so. Yeah. Even I'm unable to think of any breakthrough as of now over here. Okay. Right. So, squaring doesn't really help much. It only gets the things complicated. Right. Squaring on both sides will help when these two values are your same. Okay, then you get yes, rid sir. of sine square theta and cos square theta. Then you can work out with sine theta and cos theta. Right? Uh, maybe something like this. Okay, so 119, yes. How we got one and 119 cos square theta, sir? Like it's confusing. It's confusing. Yes. Actually, we are trying to find a way for ourselves. Okay. Let's just turn a v, v square on both sides. Let's try to do it in a fresh way. 25 sine square theta plus 144 cos square theta plus 120 sine theta cos theta is equal to 169. Right? We got 119 because we pulled in 25 from here to make it 1. 25. I don't think we should solve that, right? If we, if we 
what we can do is that over here is a b in positive right i'm just trying to apply my mind a little bit 44 cos square theta sir we can change here that sin square by 1 minus cos square and cos square by 1 minus sin square will that help Yes, yeah, so we will get that. Uh, finally, that we will reach five cos theta minus twelve sine theta is equal. Okay. I have something in my mind like a plus b whole square. Okay. If we do minus of four, right? Sir, here we will reach uh, a minus b the whole square only, na sir. Then we'll just have to put in the root. That's it. Sir, but here the five, the cos theta and sin theta were swapped in the uh, answer, Nazar. Like five sin theta plus twelve cos theta. Oh, but when yeah, you yeah, yeah. So yeah. in order to reach there, the sin square can be changed to one minus cos square, and cos square can be changed by one minus sin square. So, so you are telling to swap this one minus. Cos square theta plus one forty four, one minus sine square theta. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, sir. Cos theta is equal to one sixty nine. Let's make some way. Let's see how does it behave. Twenty five minus twenty five cos square theta plus one forty four minus one forty four. Sine square theta. If I do any mistakes in signs and stuff, please let me know. Twenty sine theta cos theta is equal to one sixty nine. Right? This one, this one, this one is gone. Yep. That's a beautiful thought, man. Thank you so much. Yep. Now what we can do? Okay. It is swap. Yeah, so we can multiply by minus the whole equation. Now, now we don't need to do anything. Now the answer is gone. Thank you so yeah. much, Kishore. Yes. Thank you so much. So the whole point was that you know, the cos theta we have to swap that with an identity. With this and sine square theta, we have to swap this by this particular identity, right? So now if we just multiply by minus, what we get twenty five cos square theta. Plus one forty four sine square theta minus of one twenty sine theta cos theta, which is equal to zero. Now we can say five cos theta minus twelve sine theta, right? Whole square, which is zero, which means this particular value, which means this particular value five cos theta minus twelve sine theta is equal to zero. Right. So this is one way. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kishore. It was a new learning for me as well. Right. Now I wanted to understand a little bit about the formulas as well. Okay. All I know from the formula method that if it is in this particular format, the maximum value is root under this is called a this is called b right and maybe we can get this one over here or as c right one one moment guys trigonometry boundary drawings where do we have maximum minimum value i touched upon that but after this one it comes yeah 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 this was that how did you guys learn about the third constant c is there a formula as such with c we know maximum and minimum value of trigonometric function a sin theta plus b cos theta this and this okay maybe by using the formula we got the answer okay guys just one moment yep yep guys so sorry about it okay so maybe by formula method we are getting the answer yes okay so 
I would suggest you guys, if you are clear about, I'm not yet clear about the formula method as such, okay, which uh, Kishore and Haripriya has just rolled out to me. I will look into it. And for now, you guys can understand the normal method, okay? The longer method of solving it, okay? I'm sharing something. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so this one also becomes like an identity, okay? Right, Kishore. So this one also becomes like an identity if it is given to you if it is given to you a sine theta plus b cos theta is equal to c, right? Then the value of a cos theta minus b sine theta is equal to root under a square plus b square minus c square, right? This is all the formula is all about. Yeah, sir. Actually, it's a proof in 12th standard, I think. It's a proof in 12th? Yeah, yeah, sir. In 11th, uh, 11th, I guess, not in 12th, sir. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember, actually. Yeah. No worries. Take care. Thank you so much for revising me. Okay. Shall we now move to the next one, maybe? Okay. Have to finish it up, up till uh, 150. Shall we move to the next one, guys? Yeah. This is an easy one. This is an easy one. Theta is equal to 1 by root 2. Now you put this value over here. 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. Okay, right. And what? Into 2. That's it. So theta is equal to 45 degrees. Yeah. It is equal to 45 degrees. Yeah. Right. 1 by 4 into 2. Half. Those of you who are dropping, they won't get the attendance. All right. This particular one. Do we have any problem if we put theta is equal to 0? No, sir. No problem. Yes, sir. Cos square 45. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 square is 1 by 2. Right. And again, cos square half half. Okay, tan 60 is root 3. Like this, we will get 1. Right? Yes. How about others? Only a few guys are getting. Agilan, Preeti, Amar Shakti, Veer Balaji. Veera Balaji, are you getting it? Yes, sir. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Okay, M. Sanjay, are you getting it? You don't sound Veer Balaji, you need to understand it, you need to get it. Otherwise, there is no use. Right? All right, this is also a good one. This is also a good one, right? Can we simply assume some values? There are few variables, there are not. Let's see what happens if we assume theta is equal to 45 degrees. So this particular thing will change at 1 plus secant 45 is opposite of cos 45. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. So this is the value of x. secant 45 is root 2. Yes or no? So by using these options, we need to find, we need to reach root 2. Yes or no? Okay. Yes or no? Please. Okay. Let's say we start with option A. Right. 1 plus root 2 whole square minus 1. 2 into 1 plus root 2. This one will fetch us how much? 3 plus 2 root 2 minus 1 divided by 2 into 1 plus root 2, right? 2 into 1 plus root 2 divided by 2 into 1 plus root 2. It's giving us 1. But what do you want to get? 
root 2. Okay. Then the second answer, second option, it's all the same, but over here it's a positive sign. Over here it's a positive sign. Now I'm checking the second option. That means 4, 2 root 2 divided by 2 into 1 plus root 2. Now if you take 2 common, it will become 2 plus root 2, 1 plus root 2. That means we have something like that. Will we get root 2 from here? Will we get root 2 from here? Give me a closer look and tell me yes or no. If we take root 2 common again over here, will it come something like root 2 plus 1? Yes, sir. Right. Are we getting? You check for option C and D. Okay. If you have worked with roots enough amount of time, you will realize that we need, okay, we need in the denominator 2 for sure, okay, because over here 2AB and all will come, isn't it? To neutralize that, we need to have in the denominator 2. And that is why I did not start with option C or D. We started working with option A. It did not work out. It led us to a 1. So we went ahead with B. In examination hall, you need to find it out, okay? Do not simply conclude that C and D cannot be the answer. A is not the answer, so B is the answer. To find it out. Easy one. Quick. Alpha, beta, gamma are acute angles. What do you mean by acute angles? Less than 90 degrees. Yes, absolutely. Guys, look, if you don't know, just by listening to others also you will learn a lot. So it's important to pay attention, to listen. Many of you, in fact, almost half of you have come over here to donating as per your capabilities. Right? So please don't let it go. Make the best out of it. Don't waste your time. If you think you could have done something better in your life, then do that. If you are chosen to be here, let's be here with all of your heart, mind and soul. Okay? And it's okay. I don't feel bad. It's not the first time that I don't know any question. Okay? Many times. Right? So you guys also have to be vulnerable. You have to open your mic. Switch on your mic and speak. Open your mouth. Right? Alright guys. So let's get started with this one. Alpha, beta, gamma are acute angles. Sign A. Alpha is equal to 60 degree. Isn't it? Yes. Beta 30 degree. Beta is 30. Gamma oh, is 35. Oh, How much is that? 135. Yeah, 135. Yeah, tell me. Do we have any, any problem in uh, choosing some values over here? Since we have tan, which value will we choose? Tan 0 is how much? Okay. And cot 0 is how much? Undefined. Okay. Undefined, yes. So, whenever we have tan, because of this problem of 0 and undefined situation, we avoid 0 and 90 for tan. Okay. It's not that we, we, we it, that particular will not satisfy the options, that particular case. That should also do, but these are the critical points. We avoid generally. Right? So we'll go ahead with 45. I know it gets a little bit calculation intensive, but that's okay. Over here in the numerator, secant 45 is root 2. Cos 45 is root 2. This one gone, this one gone. Right? In the denominator, we have 2 plus secant 45 is root 2 into 1 minus sine 45 is it will look like this isn't it in the numerator we can simply write 1 isn't it 
So now it will become something like one divided by two minus two by root two plus two plus minus minus one, right? We can cancel this one, isn't it? It will fetch us what? One, mm -hmm. we have one as well. We have tan 45 as well. We have part 45 as well. So how do we go ahead? How do we go ahead now? All the tier. Yeah, we'll have to take some other angle. Maybe theta is equal to 30 degrees. Okay. We can't help it. We'll have to go through a little bit of longer calculation. So one plus secant 30. 2 by root two 3. Tan 30. 1 by root 3. Cosecant 30. Cos 30. The root 3 by 2. So. Root 3 by 2. Thank you so much. All right. 1 plus secant 30. 2 by root 3. Plus 1 by root 3. 1 minus sine 30 is half. Right? Sine 30 is half. 1 minus half is again half. Okay. And over here, this two, this two will get cancelled. So we can simply check out with this particular stuff. What will be left with over here as 3. Yes. Now, now we cannot cut it. We see over here minus. So we have to expand it, no other choice. Root three plus two root three by root three, root three by root three. Don't get tempted right now and don't start cutting, okay? I mean reducing whatsoever. So over here, we have root three plus two, plus 1 divided by root 3. Right? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. We can do that. Root 3, root 3, root 3, root 3. It's gone. So, in the numerator, we have root 3 plus 2 minus 1. In the denominator, we have root 3 plus 3 divided by 3. I'm just trying to write over here. Root 3 Sir, divided by root 3, sir. Where? Acha. Yeah. Thank you. Root 3 plus 1. Over here, root 3 plus 3. This one will go up. In the numerator, we will write root 3 over here. Right? This one is 3 plus root 3, 3 plus root 3, which will also fetch us 1. And that is why, since even for at this particular value also we got 1, at this particular value also we got 1, now we can be damn sure that the answer to this question is 1, not this or this. No, absolutely not this. Right? Please be careful while calculating. I think this is a much better way rather than doing sine square, cos square. I don't get it. I've never got it. Let me be very honest. Okay, shall we move now? To the last question for the day. Easy one. AB is right angled at C. Okay. What is the sum of A plus B? 90, sir. Okay. Okay, I will ask. Agilan. What is sin A plus B here? Sri Ramana. What is A plus B? Okay. So the triangle, the all the three sides adds to 180 degree. It's a right angle at C. That means angle C is 90 degree. That means angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degree. So cos 90 plus sin 90. Right? Cos 90 is 0, sin 90 is 1. That is why we'll have 1 as the answer to this particular question. 
Is there anyone who did not get it? Please ask. Thank you so much for the help on uh, question number 144. I appreciate your participation.